Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Ki. I'm here with my first ever favorite video. The items that I'm going to tell you about today are items that I have purchased this month and I just cannot seem to put them down. I am so obsessed with these items this month. I have been using them over and over and over and over again and I want to tell you about them. Every item that I'm going to mention is very affordable and you can get them anywhere in your city i would say so let's go right into it the first item is this olive oil edge control i mean i know everybody probably knows about this and i've talked about it in previous videos but i don't know if you all know that i am natural now i have not had a perm in possibly about 10 months now and I'm trying, 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 trying so hard to continue this. I went ahead and did my big chop. I didn't do any pictures or anything, but I did get all of the process hair chopped out of my head. And I thought I was going to be bald headed and I thought I was going to have to wear weave for like three years straight. But luckily, I was able to <laughs> still have some hair. And after like Probably the third month of being natural, so called natural, my hair is just seen to take on a life of its own. It didn't want to stay down. No gel would make it stay down. I could put water on it. It just, it just curled right back up. So I finally went out and purchased some of this olive oil or edge control. I heard about it probably through one of the YouTube videos, but this is the only thing that works. It comes in this thick um, gel-like consistency, but don't put a lot on because it turns white after it's been on for a couple of hours, I would say, but this is the only thing that keeps it down. And I mean, the only thing I've used jam, I've used Ampro uh, gel, I've used the Sippy Wavy stuff. This is the only thing that keeps my hair down. So you can find this at Dollar General, Family Dollar, probably for about five or six dollars. It's not that expensive, but it is worth the money. It's small but it lasts a long time. Only a little dab of it on your fingertips around the edges will keep your hair down for the entire day and possibly the next day too, you just have to touch it up, get one of those flat brushes and just, just brush your back. The next item that I am so obsessed with, I don't have on my eyelashes right now, my false eyelashes. <laughs> my coworker hates it, but I don't have on my eyelashes right now, but when I do wear it, this adhesive, or this eyelash adhesive that I purchased from the Dollar Tree for $1 has worked better than anything that I've been using in the past. I've used bonding glue. I've used the glue that comes with the lashes. I've had them done and I said I vow to not do that anymore. I don't want to have my lashes done ever again because it's so painful taking them off but this last it goes on when it comes out the tube it's like this blue color to me and it does not um dry that color though it's clear and you can't see it, it sticks your lashes stay on all day long so one dollar this is a, a fabulous deal it is very good it works it works and i really mean it works so go ahead and purchase that you can find this at the Dollar Tree like I did for one dollar they do have it at the, the Dollar General and the Family Dollar but possibly around 125 to 150 I've seen it in every family dollar that I've went in so go ahead and purchase that if you wear false lashes it works I was looking at um, one of these YouTube videos I do believe it was um, I don't know, Diva, it, I, I'll, I'll post um, probably the link below. I'll try to if I can find the video that she mentioned these in. And I went ahead and purchased me some. And since I purchased them, um, I can't put them down. These are the Cotton Tip Flat Cosmetic uh, Applicators. They are like Q-tips except for they are a flat head instead of the puff. And at, the, at one end they're flat, and at the other end, see, they're flat. At one end, and at the other end, it is um, pointed. So you can get into like the creases of your eyes. And then this, 
you know how you have um, you lose the little things that come in the eyeshadow you can put those in there. and you use that and clean it up it, it's very good these cost one dollar uh, about 75 come into the pack and I got these from Dollar General there in the body section best dollar I ever spent the next items that I'm going to tell you about came from Avon. Now, I have this weird obsession with going in my purse and pulling out whatever lip gloss is there. But I've had a recent reaction to one of the lip gloss in my purse. I'm not sure which one it was. It's either from Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret. I used to be obsessed with their lip gloss. That would be the only lip gloss that I would wear. And... I don't know what happened, but my lips have become overly sensitive. So I put on one of the lip gloss. I'm pretty sure it was from Bath and Body Works. And it had some glitter pigments in it. Broke my lips out. Then trying to retract it or, you know, to clean my lips up, I went ahead and started using some uh, Carmex, the cherry scented kind. And I don't know what is going on with my lips, but it burned the mess out of my lips. So I cannot use any Carmex or any lip gloss from Bath & Body Works that has like the little shimmer stuff in it. And I've also learned that most lip glosses have alcohol in them. And what the alcohol does is draw all the moisture out of your lips. So if you're going to wear a lip gloss, then you should wear one that doesn't have alcohol based in it. And that also has a moisture still in it. Now, uh, Avon has this new line of lip care i'm not maybe it's new to me it's it's very new and it's called healthy makeup and it's not really a lip gloss it's more a a lip cream and one is called a uh, one is called a lip cream and the other is called smooth minerals a1 lip gloss okay so both of them are similar in shade it's more of a, a champagne color. It's very, uh, it goes with my complexion really, really well. I'm not too much into wearing color on my lips. I cannot rock the Nicki Minaj pink. It looks white on my lips and I can't rock a red bow lip because I've tried before and my mom and boyfriend were like, ugh, take that off. And I just can't rock the, the color. I don't even really do color on my eyelids. So, this is um, a very nice alternative to what I've been wearing. And it hasn't broken my lips out. It feels like the MAC Air. Uh, not the MAC Air. I'm breaking up my computers. It feels like the um, air makeup that they have. That like light, fluff, airy. It's so light. It's so pretty. It lasts all day. Not many touch-ups. The only thing that I don't like about the lip glosses that they come with these spindle. I hate that because it's like you're constantly wiping, the, you know. You touch your lips all the time, so you're constantly wiping what's on your lips into the lip gloss. And I think that's why my lips woke up. They're very ultra sensitive, like I said. So I try to switch it up and use it. Now, uh, the next item that is a part of my February favorites is one of the pairs of shoes that or flats that I recently um, showcased in my flats, my shoe haul. It is these leopard flats that I purchased from Target. I love these. I actually am in love with leopard right now. So I tend to just go to these. I put them on with everything. The jeans, the skirt, the little dress pants that I wear. I wear these all the time. I have worn these this month, I know, half this month. I have really worn these and they are so comfortable. They are fashionable. They were affordable. I think I got these at Target for $14.99. Actually, I'm positive they were $14.99. And they are gorgeous. They work with a lot of things. And, you know, animal print is very in right now. It's like the trend. So I can rock these whenever i'm in love with them the last thing that's on my february favorites list is it's a very simple item but it's the meaning behind it that makes it fabulous and made the list these were bracelets that my 
my co-worker Nate. Shout out to you, Miss Felicia. Thank you. I love these bracelets. I have the, the solid red ones. As you all know, February is um, Heart Awareness Month and we made the, well she made these for her nephew he's in the hospital he had um was born with a heart defect so i wear these for jordan and i also wear these for my boss <laughs> his name is mr cyrus i wear these for him and he had um a problem with his heart uh, a while ago so i wear these for him you know you wear pink for the breast cancer awareness and I wear these for everyone who has a heart defect or who has had problems with their heart. I know my brother was one of a hole in his heart when he was born, but luckily it closed up and but now he is he is okay. So I wear these for everyone who has something wrong with their heart or in a heart uh, who you know, who's in a heart hospital, who works in a heart hospital, you know how touching every situation is. So just be grateful and thankful if you haven't had that or if you don't have anyone in your family that's going through that, it's very trying time. So I wear these for you all. I support you all. I love you all. Thank you all for watching and continue to like, share, subscribe, and just keep giving me that feedback. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Thank you guys. And you all have a fabulous evening. Bye.